Hello, friends. Uncle Marv here with another episode of the IT Business Podcast, the show for IT professionals where we try to help you run your business better, smarter, and faster. Well, it took a little time, but I am here with the one and only Juan Fernandez here of Super Ops and uh, trying to squeeze in some time here while we are in St. Petersburg, Florida at the Super Ops 2024 Super Summit Tampa. I have no idea if that's the actual phrasing, but that's what it looks like on your little billboard there. (laughs) All right. So Juan, thank you for uh, joining us. How's it going? I'm fantastic, Marv. And I, you know, I love the weather here. I'm super excited to be here. The ironic part is, yes, I am wearing a suit, but we are at an event where we are delivering it, but we're about to have some fun and I get to to shed this jacket, man. So I know you got called out a while back. You showed up somewhere and you didn't have the jacket on and people are like, Juan, where's the jacket? We're Florida, man. You can, you don't have to wear the jacket here. You know what? We might be in Miami in a couple of days, and I'm going to wear a jacket just to do it, you know? <laughs> Listen, this ain't Miami Vice days. We're in a heat wave. It's going to be hot. <laughs> it is hot. I actually have to keep coming back inside. It's so hot. Yeah. All right, Juan. So uh, let me kind of reach, uh, uh, retrack, retrace my steps a little bit. So yeah. uh, we're here at Super Ops. This is actually my second summit that I've come to. Uh, you and I have gotten to know each other, the, each other over the last few months. Yeah. Uh, I spoke with Arvin earlier. You guys have done about seven of these. Yeah. Uh, tell me, because I know that some of this is your brainchild. Yeah. Uh, how has this been in terms of what your expectations were and where you see things now? You know, when we first started off with the idea, we did it in like a very short period of time, right? We did it a lot. You know, our first one was at the end of the year and the most weird time, like it's December and we're like, you know what, let's just see if this is really what MSPs really want. I, I, I kind of feel like it will work. And so we, we tested it and it performed and everybody was like, man, I really needed this. And so we said, all right, well, let's do it again. We did it again, another one really quickly right after it, just to test again and we got the same result. And, you know, interestingly enough, as much as we put into making that happen in a very short period of time and how stressful that was to do it that quick, especially in a weird time of year, especially December, like that was like a really weird time to put it on an event like this. It really started to deliver. And one of those things we said, okay, we're just going to double click. We're going to go ahead and embrace this movement and we're going to actually dive into helping the community understand and learn more about how to build and scale their business without the impacts of product being pushed on you based on conversation. And so we removed that fabric from the conversation and created an ethos that MSPs could come and learn and just build community and have good conversations and learn from each other. Uh, And it's just really wonderful. And so I am super honored. You know, I think you heard a little bit earlier that we had to pull chairs from outside uh, we planned for it to be a certain size. We like to keep it kind of small because it's very intentional. We want people to be able to communicate and collectively talk and really hash out what's going on and really be able to get the answer, right? But this one in particular is like packed in like sardines and like everybody's here and yet everyone's still doing the same thing and it's just really cool. And to be honest with you, I couldn't be more proud of it. It's just really a testament to the time that we're in, in terms of the education that we need to move forward and the industry. And we're continuing to do it because we want to, I wish that it was there when I was there. And we're going to continue to do that because we see it's working and folks like yourself keep saying, hey man, this is actually cool and I like it. So as long as we can keep that as a preface, then we'll continue to dive into these. Well, it's one thing to have the big events and have exposure to all the vendors and to see, you know, tens of speakers and thousands of other attendees. But it's another to be sitting in a room with 20, 30, 40 people. And not only are you hearing educational content Mm -hmm. that is not selling or pitching, but you're actually able to engage in conversations with other MSPs, some of whom you just met that day, Yeah. but 
the intimacy allows for the fact that we feel like we know each other because we've we've shared these experiences as we're getting inter uh, educated and you know these are interactive sessions it's not somebody on stage you know just telling you what to do yeah it's somebody sitting at the front of a room asking questions hey what are you doing mm -hmm. right now that's working in your business or what what are you struggling with and people yeah. are raising their hands and somebody on the other side of the room and saying hey i can help you with that mm -hmm. that's where the difference is i think yeah all of these and I think we wanted to create that. And I think you erode the fabric of that opportunity when it becomes uh, monetarily driven. Uh, everything has to end with some sort of an outcome. And here, the only outcome we're interested in is our partner's success. Most of the people that are here don't even do business with super ops. There's so many that are trying to figure out how to build their business, or maybe they're with some tools that they don't feel like that's the tool for them, or maybe there's other reasons. but. We just wanted to create a safe space for people to come and just learn. Like, I don't know how else to say that without really selling Koi, but that's what we're doing. And I, I ask feedback. A lot of the curated speakers that are here with us are votes back from previous super summits. Cause I'm asking like, Hey, how did they perform? Like, why don't you guys give me feedback on them? And they're like, I really learned from that person. And for this particular reason, it like unlocked my business. And, we get overwhelming uh, feedback about these, and that's really, like even down to the food and bacon starting at nine o'clock, like giving us 15 minute breaks, like all these things allowing us to, you know, have conversations and not just have to go straight back into something because I'm not driving, we're not driving sales, we're driving community and process and productivity as well as MSP success and I just wish it was there when I was doing it. So I love to watch it. Yeah. You'd have added, what, another 10 mil to your business or something, <laughs> maybe? <laughs> I'll be honest, I probably would have got to the goal even faster, man. Like, I, I, a lot of the things that we're putting out, like, if you harnessed all this and put it into an engine from all these wonderful speakers, it'd be amazing the company you could build in a very short period of time. So I really I look at this and I'm like, let's see who actually takes this and uses it. And I've watched a lot of MSPs say, Dude, I'm going back and like, can I like massage my business? And you know, that would be an exercise to do. If you could go back and find out who was in that very first group. Yes. And see if we could track their progress. Yep. So I think I, I think I want to reach out to you later and we'll see if we can't get I would a, love to a, a follow-up. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing too. Like as we see each other at events, I get to ask, what'd you do? Like, is it working? Is it not working? Like, yeah. oh, I changed this or I changed that. And I'm like, but I, I took this one piece and now it's completely different. And I'm like, I think it's just the engineer inside of us that allows us to see like these new realities. And that's what I think is really cool to watch this new modern era build in front of me. And so I think it's cool, man. All right. Well, again, as I told the others earlier, I know that I, I stole you guys away from some sort of meeting you were in, but I, I had to get you guys over here and do this quick uh, podcast. So thank you for your time. Thank you for asking me to, you know, travel across the state and get over here and hang out. I'm not going to get to see the beach, but you guys will and hope you guys enjoy our beaches. Hey, man, I really appreciate you and all that you do for the community. Again, we are proud sponsors. And I am honored to see the efforts and the, all the things that you're doing for the community. So keep doing it. It's, it's helping a lot of folks. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. And yeah, I'll keep doing it as long as people will listen and watch and uh, invite me to events like this. Come watch Marvin, man. <laughs> okay. He knows what he's talking about. All right, folks, uh, that's going to do it. So Juan, thank you very much. I'll be interviewing some other people later here from St. Petersburg, Florida at the Super Summit 2024 Tampa. Tampa. That's it, folks. We'll see you. Holla.